Hi movie fans and welcome to another edition of Movies. So this time I'm going to be reviewing See How They Run, which is a movie that stars Sam Rockwell, Saoirse Ronan, Adrian Brody and David Ayelowo and directed by Tom George. So it's set in the 1950s in swinging London where the mousetrap play is running. And the Mousetrap's director, Kopernik, played by Adrian Brody, plans to make a film version along with producer Cocker Norris, played by David Ayelowo. Now, they can't make the film version until the stage version has finished. And the plot is that during the production of The Mousetrap, a murder has taken place. And I mean a murder in real life not in the play. And the murder happens in the theatre. So then Inspector Stoppard, played by Sam Rockwell, and an, his assistant, an over-eager Constable Stalker, played by Saoirse Ronan, are brought in to find the murderer. They find themselves thrown into a puzzling whodunit in theatre land. Now the sets are superb and look great and it really feels like the 1950s. Not that I would know, obviously. And it's, it's kind of just like uh, earlier this year we had Edgar Wright's Last Night in Soho, which also had these great 1950s sets. This movie has the prerequisite pompous theatre lovies in it that we all know of. This movie is made for Agatha Christie fans and fans of The Mousetrap, I think. So if that's your bag, you'll love this. See How They Run is a really fun murder mystery. It's quite novel, being that it's a whodunit filmed in a theatre alongside a whodunit play in The Mousetrap. It does have a, a little bit of a stagey feel to it, but I must say, I did laugh several times, and I thought it was most amusing. The characters were brilliant, and it's well written. It's a whodunit that works really well. Now, it's not a Knives Out whodunit. It's a bit lighter, and it's not too serious. I think some people who've seen it may have been expecting something more serious and, and give it a bit of a low rating, but it's actually very good. I thought the split screen was used well. I thought Saoirse Ronan was excellent as Constable Stalker, as were the rest of the cast. And a fine cast it is too. It has people like Ruth Wilson, Reese Shearsmith, Charlie Cooper, um, Sharon Clifford and Tim Key, amongst others. And I did feel at times that it was a little bit sort of Wes Anderson-ish, but that's a good thing in my book. But I just kept waiting for the lobby boy to appear. So I watched this film with a friend as a, a second bill after we watched All Quiet on the Western Front. And this was just what was needed after such a heavy deep first film. This was easy. It was comfortable viewing where you, you grab your popcorn, you sit back and you get entertained without overtaxing your brain. Now I know it's not a groundbreaking movie, and I know it's not an award winning movie, but it's a big thumbs up for me. I would give this an 8 out of 10. It's well made, it's well acted, it's well written by Mark Chappell, it's well filmed, and it's all round good fun, with laughs along the way. So as you can guess I love this. This is an easy watch, but very entertaining. It's clever. And it's funny. If you want an amusing romp that's done well, you will be delightfully entertained by this. So go see it. So please hit the like button. Please subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much for watching.